Here's Lake Travis, nice and low this time of year. Normally, well not normally, sometimes. That boat ramp way up there, you can launch any size boat you want. It's like 30, 40 feet deep here, but now it's three feet deep and it's basically back to the state of, of a river. And that kind of works out in my favor because I'm out here fishing for white bass today. They should be running, it's March, it's warm outside. I saw a bunch of them out here when I was shooting carp the other night, I'm gonna be throwing Beetle spins, crank baits, jerk baits, whatever I can, just see what they're hitting. And if they're not gonna hit anything, then maybe I'll catch some live bait and we'll fish with minnows. Let's start fishing. There's fish. And a white bass, <laughs> but it is a fish. A bass. Wrong species, but first fish of the trip. What are we eating here, boys? Deer. Can't really tell from this angle, but it looks like we may have a deep pool here. There it is. Hit. Oh, come on. There he is. White bass. Look at that, yo, look at that. All right, there we go. That's a pretty good white bass too, y'all. Beautiful fish, real hard fighters too for their size. Nice deep pool and I've walked about, maybe about a mile to find a pool. It, it's all been like this right here. Real, real shallow, no fish. And then boom, you got the pool. We'll fish in here a little bit more because where there's one, oftentimes there's more. There's one. Not very big. Oh, there's a huge one going after him. Like, so this is a crappie, and there was a big old large mouth going after him, y'all. All right, let's get this crappie back in. Up here, because that was a big old large mouth that came up right there. Let's try to catch that large mouth next. And when I say a big old large mouth, I mean like three, four pounds. That's pretty big for this little river. Next one. That's a little one there. It's another, it's another crappie. Another crappie in a jerk bait, y'all. What the heck? There's one. Another crappie. I think. The way he's fighting. Oh yeah, another crappie. Big, beautiful crappie. Trying to tear your mouth up, bud. Oh, man. Yeah. GoPro doesn't really do them justice here, but those are some big old beautiful crappie. Go on, beautiful. Man, I just can't put the jerk bait down. I need to try other lures, but I really want to catch that bass that I saw. All right, you know what? One more cast with a jerk bait, no matter what. We'll put it right there. And then we'll switch to something else. Oh, God. 
walking right towards me. Right towards me. He was a little heavier, but he might be side hooked. Oh my gosh, did y'all see that big old fish? Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna keep him out there. That is a massive. Oh, do y'all see that? I'm, I'm freaking out. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Nice bass. Oh, he's got it. I don't know if that's illegal. I was using a crappie as bait. Nice bass. Look at the size of him. He's got that crappie in his mouth, y'all. Look at that fish. Oh my lord. Okay. I'm gonna get the pliers out, get this thing out of his mouth. Y'all, that's gotta be a top three, top two, top one catch for me right there. The fight wasn't amazing, but just the way I caught that bass it makes me so happy. And she is engulfing that crappie. I'm gonna go ahead and let her go. I don't wanna keep her too long. I've been keeping her in the water the whole dang time, y'all. Oh, man. Man, I really think I need to get that crappie out. After thinking about it for a little bit, keeping her in the water, looking at her, I don't think that her hatch is big enough to get that crappie all the way down. I really don't. And I don't want her to get out there and die from it. So we're just going to let her go without the crappie and I'll put the crappie back. And if she wants to eat it, then it's on her. All right, girl. You've been in the water the whole dang time. You ready to go home? Oh, yeah. Before I continue, I just want to show y'all. You see these, I mean, how could you not see them? There's thousands of them. Little shiners in here swimming upstream. That's why that jerk bait, where is it? Probably this guy right here. It's so effective, look at that. Just shining in the water, jerking around. Those minnows, I'm sorry, those fish just want it. And I guess that bass is just feeding on crappie in there. He doesn't care about that jerk bait. Anyway. I've made an executive decision to keep the jerk bait on because it's so dang good. I was gonna stop fishing after that, but why stop? We got a couple more big holes here. We know we're not gonna catch another big old bass like that, and that's okay. We came out here for white bass. We caught a white bass, caught some crappie. Let's catch a couple more fish. Boy, they're smacking the surface over there. Let's get that evening bite on. There he is. Yeah, they're white bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They'd put up more of a fight, but I don't want to spook off the other ones, so. So one one thing I want to show y'all, you want to watch out for, and Duel can attest to this. You see that right there? It's kind of sharp. That thing is razor, razor sharp, and it will cut the heck out of you. That's a... Nice little white bass there. We're going to let him go out here in these rapids and he'll swim on back down. A duel one day, we were keeping a bunch of them. We were 16. You know how it is when you're 16. We were keeping a bunch of them and I was on the other side of the river with the stringer and duel slung it across to me. Sliced his finger wide open. All right, let's catch a couple more and then I think we'll call it quits. Hmm, there you go right there. Look at that. I wanted to get y'all a good look at this edge right here to see what I'm I'm looking at. So you got all this shallow water and you see where it gets dark right there, it drops off. If you're being realistic and like wanting to catch a lot of fish, stay back, a little bit back. I'm gonna walk up and just show you how quick it drops off. Just straight down into the abyss, right? And what these white bass are doing is when they run, they're trying to get way upstream and they spawn up there and they get stuck at these little drop-offs and they congregate right out here and they feed on these minnows and stuff that are coming off of these rapids and it's just a perfect perfect situation for fishing oh there he is oh that one's got some shoulders while well, he's in the current
<laughs> oh, he's hooked on the back. That's why he's got some shoulders. That's funny. All right, maybe uh, he'll pop right off of there. No, he ain't going anywhere. We'll just plier job that one, get him back real quick. Golly, something's going crazy up there. There he is. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. And they fight. They fight really nice, y'all. Woo. And you know, really, these things eat pretty well, too. They got a real dark strip in them, but you cut that out, it ain't bad. It really, it ain't bad. And the great thing about these, uh, drop-offs is you just swing them up on the bank like that it's super super easy and let them go real quick no harm no foul oh gosh could sit out here all day and do this y'all boy he's about to swim up on those rapids okay he's coming back out now he ain't very big well heck none of the others did that <laughs> it's a lot of fun y'all it's a lot of fun all right come on up it's over i don't know if you catch them on top water so let's figure that out real quick all i want to do is catch one on top water then i'll call it quits They continue doing what they were doing. I'll catch one there. Yep. <laughs> Where are you going, huh? He's coming up here. Come here. <laughs> there we go, y'all. Top water white bass. Caught him on a little popper right here. It ain't the right color, but it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure you could throw just about anything and catch these fish. My uh, GoPro died on me, but I just wanted to show y'all that I just caught a topwater crappie. So that'll definitely finish it off for the night. I am just about back to the truck. It was about a mile walk and it was definitely, definitely worth catching. Not only that big old bass, but all those fish, it was a lot of fun. And if I had really hit it hard and really tried, man, I could have just caught 50, 100 of those white bass. So much fun, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I really, really enjoyed making it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. If you didn't like it, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And as always, I'll catch y'all next time. Probably going to come back out here in a couple days with Jacob. See y'all then.